What's cooking folks, Million Phoenix here, and today we are jumping back into some Orcs Must Die Unchained. We are going to be diving into the castle gates with brass today. And we're going to be doing that with as much ridiculousness as we can. So we're not going to use the same deck that we did before. We're going to take... I think some arrow walls would actually be pretty good. Regular arrow walls, uh, a ton of ballista. I should probably reverse those. Personal preference. Uh, we won't be using the floor scorcher here. We're going to use the flip trap. Other than that, I think we should be a okay. Uh, we really, I don't even think we need the spikes. They're not bad, but. I think I would rather do it with Boom Barrel Roller. And since we're using Brass, of course, we're going to need some health and a Ring of Last Stand because not much else really benefits her too much and I'm not trying to spend scrap on the attack gear. Although if you were going for combos, that would probably be a good idea. Uh, actually, we can leave over Achiever there. I think for the most part, these are okay. And uh, we shouldn't need to heal too often. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can set this up. Anyone call for a machine gun builder? All right, we're gonna take the brass bomb immediately. And then for the most part, we right are basically just going to set everybody up this will be useful. for a death by arrows right immediately. Ooh, actually, um, each trap to be placed perfectly. Could another genius setup block off one of these? Maybe one over here. And we're doing this so that when things come out. They basically only have one way to go, and it's going to be this way. Uh, there are going to be a lot of Earth Elementals coming through. Wait, no, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, actually, we didn't even need to do that. Okay, we can put those back because I sold one of these, and we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. It's fine. But basically, uh, the main thing that you always want to be worried about on this particular map is the unending tide of elementals. There's just going to be a lot of them. And if you leave this open, what happens is if any happen to get through, they can split. We don't want them splitting. It's bad for us. No bueno, absolutely don't let it happen. So try not to let it happen. That's pretty much it. These guys take a while to break through this door. And the arrows probably won't kill at all, but they should soften them up a bit. Alright, and now of course, elementals everywhere. Oh, I missed. Okay, didn't miss that time. Whoa, are you serious? They ran all the way around. Jeez. That doesn't make sense to me. Why wouldn't it? Oh, because they couldn't make the left turn. There must be a pathing flag literally in one of these locations. Oh, no. Not you. Caught him. Okay. Now, luckily, the first enemies that managed to make it through there are giants. Don't let them kill the turret, and we should be all right. Now we can actually do a bit of this. Ah. For whatever reason, I missed hitting the... Uh, right key for that on my keyboard at first and so just nothing happened okay so these guys are going to be coming out soon uh they are going to not come this way Enemy army. 
enemy is attacking on another front. Now, of course, what we can do is Arrow wall them up early. Each trap to be placed. We don't have too many damaging traps. So we can do something like that, but we actually want to uh, have as many of them as possible flung off the edge here. Yeah, so are the potions. Alright, those don't penetrate walls. That's good. And I got the real one. Wait, there's still guys here? Oh, okay. I was like, why are they not coming around the corner? And then it's like, oh, oh that's why. Because they're trying to hit me with fireballs. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Alright, so... Now that we should have that littered with all of the things we should ever need uh, these guys should actually be coming through the center here question is if I have enough time to upgrade this and I should fill these in properly now all right got scrap them so now we can pretty much start going nuts it's a good idea to make sure enemies are slowed when they come out here Gonna dispel this. Now, because I've already blocked off the other side, we should be okay with getting them to path down here. Uh, the main thing with that is just going to be again having as many of them thrown off as we can possibly get early. Through a gate. Another genius setup. And for damage, we can basically just do that. So these guys really aren't going to have anything taken from them by the flips that we have here. But that's more a setup for later on. And we can do all of this with hero damage. But after we come back through here, uh, what we're going to do is basically litter the place with arrow walls. And that'll basically add on what ever little non instant damage we need. Okay, so this boss is uh, Lysander, right? And the kobold's coming from the top. We're okay with that. This is kind of where he's going to be coming. Now with Lysander coming directly through here. This is going to be really where you want to focus. The enemy's boss is dead. All right, and we've already got cannonball coming, which means for now, since we can, let's go ahead and go nuts. Goodbye, Kobold. Goodbye, pretty much everybody. Entirely worth it. Exactly. Okay, so. Each trap to be placed I don't think you can place anything up in that alcove. Uh, we can drop a couple more of these bad boys over here. Uh, you could also put some there if you want. Not a great idea though. That is firelings, I believe, being tossed. I should probably move. Oh, he really littered this place. I don't feel like most of them actually got flipped off there. The 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 okay, so this is going to be the split decision between Urza and Gaiden. Uh, if anything, go Gaiden first. The boss minion has been taken down. Uh, because when it comes to Urza, he cannot take uh, 
any rift points after he dies. He's literally just there to destroy barricades, which of course they will do. And of course, all the arrow walls miss. Where are you going, dudes? Arrow walls have a very, very good chance of missing. The right setup, the most combos. All right, he can't really destroy anything that I care about. So you're really acting as like a gatekeeper here. And you kind of want to just blast all of your coin into Ballista right here. And uh, this slow pad here will basically act as like assistance for you blowing everything up. Uh, what are you? Okay. Let's go ahead and actually let's dispel this. We want to move you over here. The boss minion has entered the battlefield. Which boss was this again? Swifty. It's coming through right here, so I don't really care. Gonna get slowed, hit with a lot of arrows, blown up with pretty much everything. And there we go. Fully upgraded. Most of these guys are just getting flipped. Why is this even still going? Everything should be dead. Okay, there we go. Now, I would probably argue that the only reason Earth Elementals even seem to be an issue with this particular strategy is because uh, Brass's attack uh, speed is so slow, so there's not a lot of resolution for the damage. It just happens like in really big chunks, and that's not good versus, uh, versus those guys at all. It's actually the worst possible thing that you can have against uh, the Earth Elementals. That's pretty much what their strength is. They absorb damage and force it to have to be broken up into small chunks and do not give you the ability to uh, actually let that happen via other abilities like slows this will be useful oh, I'm at the trap limit okay so I think fire pretty much always comes from the top. That's the gimmick. Ooh, we need to basically have that guy focus on us so he doesn't wreck everything now. Where are you, bear? There you go. And you're glitching again. Of course. How are our barricades under attack? What is... Oh, no, you don't. First wreck you guys. Then... There we go. Right, I got to blow stuff up twice in one match. Abysmal score, because elemental, I mean, sorry, environmental kills uh, really don't give you a ton of points unless you happen to have some combos happen before the enemies get flipped. And that's not really what I was going for, but this time is uh, way faster. So if you happen to need to five star this, and you want a very easy method, then uh, there you go, environmental kills. I didn't even know you could get a five time survival bonus. Thought it maxed out at four. I don't think that's the correct multiplier. I think that's probably rounding in some weird way. But either way, 10 minutes, 34 seconds, not bad. Either way, uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for brass uh, as far as the castle gates goes. Uh, we have three more maps to do, which means I can get those done and then I'll be working on the hero reviews and we can move into uh, some more characters to show off, which is good because there's a lot of heroes that I haven't highlighted on the channel, at least not significantly. Um, Tundra, Emperor, uh, Stink Eye. Stink Eye and Oziel are actually... Uh, two really popular characters so i'll probably show them off a bit uh and just see you know what maps i don't have footage of either way 
that's gonna be it for now. Uh, let me stop rambling before this becomes a 50 minute video. Uh, but thanks as always for tuning in. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you learned something, that's great. But as always, until next time, have a good one, folks.